Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, an original shark from the hit TV show Shark Tank, and I'm here with Marilyn Suey of Diamond Group Wealth Advisors. Marilyn, good to have you. Thank you hey, very much, Kevin. Well, nice to have you today. We go back a lot of years now, and I, you know, I think I saw you last, well, you know, probably a few months ago, but we started three years ago at least, right? And I've loved listening to many of the things you're doing. And, and for those that don't know what you do as a wealth advisor, what kind of companies and people do you work with? So the Diamond Group Wealth Advisors, we love working with uh, business owners, right. healthcare professionals, and executives. And executives. Right. And that could be could be male, female. I do know that you ha happen to have some some things that you do. You have a group called Savvy. Savvy and, Women. Savvy yes. Women, right? And, and, and we, that's... Uh, we built that over the last three to four years, and we're... Very pleased to say that we're going deeper with our women. We educate, we inform, we inspire them to take uh, just control of their work, wealth, and worth um, as it relates to both financial fitness, whether they are single, married, um, in a partnership, or perhaps uh, in a life transition. And, it's, yeah. and we've seen some great success stories um, over the last several so years. So I remember when, when we first met, you, you, you said something along the lines of wealth is more than money. And what do you mean by that? So our basic tenet is your wealth is more than your money. It really is about uh, your family, right. your friends, the community you live in, and the causes you care about deeply. However, money is, it does fund your financial house, which is a term that we use along with our prosperity blueprint. Right. So it funds your uh, financial house. It takes care of you. So if you take care of your money, it will take better care of you. Right. And we've seen that happen over the last several years with many of our clients. So, so these other things like your family and your friends, and these are other assets that right. are, are creating more, you know, more than just the money side of what right. you do. And so I know you're a, you're a speaker an author, a mentor, a coach, um, you have a book, Retire Abundantly, right. I know. That's, yeah. that's pretty cool. Uh, people love to think about retiring abundantly. But w t tell me about the, um, the passion that you've got and why, on a day-to-day -day basis, you, you get like, excited to you know, just help folks that you're dealing with. So if I go back several years, uh, when I was a younger person in corporate, my uh, dad and mom said, you know, you really got to learn how to take care of yourself. You're a woman. You may be on your own. We don't know. But you got to take care of yourself. So what I did was I... I was in the corporate America as a management trainee, and they had great programs. And so I was saving somewhere between 10 and 15% of my income, mm. not knowing that as a wealth advisor now, what do we say to our people that are trying to save for retirement? We say, gee, you know, you're going to need X amount of dollars when you retire, and probably good to start out with 10 to 12% at least of, of uh, your income so that when you're of retirement age, when you're ready to go in your second act, you'll have enough money to fund your financial house and to fund the things that yes. you want to do. Let me ask you, you mentioned second act. Yes. So, because you don't actually, the word retirement is, you use the word, but you're actually, when you maybe retire from one position, you have a second act. And that's sort of a transition into another opportunity, exactly. right? Yeah, we have a number of clients we're working with that we've done a prosperity blueprint. And they said, you know, I really want to leave my full-time work, you know, my W-2 job but I'm not really ready to retire. I have a purpose and a special passion for X, Y, and Z, whatever it is. Right. And I really want to pursue that um, after I leave my uh, full-time work. So we've worked with a number of people. We've done, uh, 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 if you will, analysis of where other financial house and if they're ready to go. And I have many folks now who are actually consulting mm -hmm. with back to either their old employer or other like employers. Right. And they're enjoying their free time, their financial independence, and the fact that they can share their special gifts with other clients. And so the second act I did came out because uh, I had a lot of folks that were baby boomers that said, I'm not going to retire. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, but I don't want to do it in a confined arena. I want to do it the way I want to do it on my time, on my schedule. So right. that's why we came up with second act. I got you. So, so retire abundantly, second act can be abundant also, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. And um, when, when I think of, of, of that, I think that when somebody's in that mode, what challenges are they facing and how do you help them overcome those challenges? So some of the challenges we've seen, you know, life can, as you know, ha throw you some curveballs. And um, we've dealt with several of them where uh, particularly women may have lost their spouses right when they're about ready to start their second act. And sadly, you know, we've had to kind of go back and say, let's reconstruct your financial house. Let's make sure that you're in good, good shape uh, financially. And let's make sure that, you know, you, you are 
taking care of yourself in such a way that you've still got your purpose and your passion for mm. life. And we found that uh, that has worked uh, nicely, curveballs sometimes. You just have to take action. Right. Because if you don't act when something unfortunate happens, it just sits there. And you've got to really process it and move through it. And you need specialists, advisors. Mm. You may need a therapist. You need something to help you to keep moving forward. And in the work that we've done with our clients, we found that people who take action come out on the side and they're miles ahead. They're happier. Um, we have many, many success stories there. So yes, that's cool. I love that. So uh, you mentioned many success stories. I don't want, we don't have time for many, but just let's talk about one, but don't give me any names because we don't want to, you know, right. signal anyone out. But somebody that came to you and you, you, through your processes and systems, were able to take them to a whole new level. So we had a, 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 a woman client who came to us and said, I really, I'm ready to take this leap between my full-time work and I really want to do some part-time. I want to share my uh, gifts of being an um, executive director or director of development. And I think I can do that and, and earn a living while I'm preparing for my third act. So okay. she, uh, we did a prosperity blueprint. We did a number of alternative plans for her. And we said social security, no social security, take your pension, take them both, uh, work 20 hours uh, you know, a week, perhaps take three consulting clients. So we did all those scenarios and she was a fabulous client because she's always ready with her information right. and her data. Very, very, uh, very bright. And she decided that, you know, I'm going to take my Social Security. I am going to leave this position, you know, in, and then go ahead and consult. She got two consulting roles within like six weeks of her leaving her oh, role, nice. her full-time role. And she was still training her replacement. Um, she moved to uh, the wine country. And now after a year and a half, she is comfortably um, working about 10 or 15 hours a week. She enjoys her uh, free time with her partner. Um, she manages her real estate and she still does something she loves and something she's got a great gift for, which is fundraising and capital, capital, uh, raising. So Sounds really like she great. found some purpose along the yeah, way there too, Yeah, along the way right? too. Yeah, and she's, like, she's young. I mean, she's young at heart. Uh, and, um, she said, I'm just going to wait and, and then figure out each year. I'll just go back and look and see, how do I feel? Mm -hmm. What's going on? You know, how are my kids doing? How's my partner doing? And it's great. And we touch base every six months or so. And it's wonderful. Nice. So... Um, you mentioned prosperity blueprint, mm -hmm. and so this is sitting down with 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 somebody and um, and what is the process there? What do you do? So a prosperity blueprint is you know my marketing name for a financial plan, but what it does when we marry it with the concept of a financial house, and each room has you know a certain if you will certain function. One is your wealth protection, one is your income, one is your taxes. Unfortunately, you know one is uh, perhaps a, a legacy plan, an estate plan. So the prosperity blueprint is an all-encompassing roadmap so okay. that when we get it finished for you and we agree that, hey, this is what what you and your partner or what you're going to do with your uh, lifestyle for the next year or so, we go ahead and map that out for you down mm -hmm. to the dollar if we can. Nice. But the most important thing is when people bring in all their data, their income statements, their tax returns and all that, we put that aside and we say, Gee, Kevin, you know, you're here today. Thanks for coming. What do you really want to do? Gotcha. What, what's in your lifestyle that you maybe haven't been able to do because you're working full time? What, what do you and your partner want to do, you know, maybe five years out? What do you see for your, your children, your grandchildren? So we talk about all those qualitative things first. Mm -hmm. And then we go, well, let's go look at the numbers. Let's look at the data and gotcha. see where that comes out. See if out. we can make it work. If right? we can make yeah. it work. And, if, and generally, if you, the bigger you dream, generally it all, always comes out the way you want. Love that. So for those that are out there, there's people that are sitting there thinking, but you, you're, you're just laying it on them so powerfully that... They, they, you know, I'm, I'm going to encourage them to track you down, but what, what words of encouragement do you have for, for anyone out there that might be in the situation of needing some advice from you? So when life hands you sometimes curveballs, sometimes life will hand you a, a, a fastball where, you know, you're working in high tech and you have a, an exit and it's very plentiful or abundant. Yeah. Um, we're happy to work with people in, in either case. And what I want to say is that, you know, basically your lifestyle is like a movie. 
Mm. And on a movie set, don't you have producers, executive producers, you have specialists, you have all kinds right. of folks that help make that movie real. The cameramen, real. the editors, the exactly. sound guys, the lighting guys. Right. Yeah. So at Diamond Group Wealth Advisors, we feel that we're one of those executive producers or producers that can help you along with your other team of folks. You may have an estate planning attorney, you may have a business attorney, of course a CPA. So we'll work hand in hand as you wish to make sure that that movie of your lifestyle becomes a reality. Fantastic. Well, listen, Marilyn Suey, the Diamond Group Wealth Advisors. We've had a, a, a lot of fun here. And, thank you very and, much. And uh, thank you for, for sharing some wisdom with us today. And uh, please track down Marilyn Suey if, if you're in need right now of any kind of, of wealth planning, um, a, propens a prosperity blueprint. Um, now is the time to check it out because wealth is more than money. And we heard it here. This is, this is Marilyn Suey's motto. So thanks for being with us, Marilyn. Thank you very, thank you. very much again. Thank you.